Emperor in Galilean was written by Henrik Ibsen, who's a Scandinavian writer back at like the turn of the century. Right before he died, he called Emperor in Galilean his greatest work. Uh, and the reason why he felt like it was important to say that was because it had never been performed in his lifetime. Because when Henry Gibson wrote it, um, he wrote it for over a hundred actors, which is not something that could happen back in the late 1800s when he was doing theater. We have a huge ensemble cast. We have like almost like 50 warriors or something. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be really spectacular. And so we, in essence, are doing a national premiere of an Ibsen play, and it is extremely exciting. Not only for that, but just the epic scope of the the play and the story. And that's why it's not done very often, is because it has five battle scenes with dozens and dozens of, of warriors that you need, um, and an earthquake that happens, and burning ships, and all these huge. Um, epic elements that most theater companies don't want to try. And... We, as the Hillcrest Drama Department, we get to put it on and we pull in kids from all over. There's kids from wrestling, from swim, from football, all areas of the school. Um, basically, the play's about my character, Julian. And um, he starts out as a young boy under the kind of watch of the emperor. But um, the emperor actually killed his entire family because he um, was next in line for, uh, for rule. And so he's kind of like hiding out from this emperor guy who's watching him all the time. Finally, he gets to go off on his own and he's kind of starting to fall away from Christianity, you know, he doesn't really know what's, what's uh, true or what's not, and he starts looking into paganism. Eventually, um, things happen, and uh, I can't really tell you anymore because it'll spoil a lot, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a wild ride for sure. So there was talk of transferring it to Broadway, but they couldn't because it was so big. And uh, so we picked up on it here at Hillcrest, and we will be the first uh, theater company outside of Great Britain to perform that two and a half hour cutting. And so we, in essence, are doing a national premiere of an Ibsen play, and we're gonna we're gonna do it. And March nineteenth is the national premiere.